Uh, hello, I'm Sean Makins. This is uh, Carl Chan. Um, we're from Canada. Did the uh, second tide trek for five days, four nights over the mountains. Um, we found this tour guide through uh, South American Explorer Club. We just arrived pretty unprepared. Went to the uh, when Red and Aloni Planet Guide went there. Um, they recommended a couple of sustainable tour groups, uh, this being one of them. So we we went to we went to one of them. They were closed. We ended up here and we just booked right away and took off. Um, we booked on a Monday and we took off uh, Monday at about 4 p.m. We booked and we took off at 5 a.m. The, the following Tuesday. So obviously the turnaround was quite quick and we we're super happy and uh, excited that we could actually go on a tour at such short notice. Um, uh, we found the tour very well organized, um, very well prepared, as well as uh, with respect to timeliness and, um, and punctuality, uh, and as well as you know, throughout the tour, uh, arranging you know, uh, I guess equipment, and food, as well as the porters and, and the cook. Um, we found everything was spot on. Um, yeah, we found we. One thing that we we noted ourselves was that we found we uh, we felt very comfortable with everyone who was around us. Um, I mean, there was no, we never felt it, like, as if we were in any, any, any danger or that people were trying to take advantage of us. It felt like everyone was really working in our best interest to make sure that we, you know, we had the most enjoyable time and that we achieved our goals, which I guess were just to, you know, have a ton of fun, see everything, and actually kind of work hard at, at the walk on the yeah. trail. Uh, with respect to the food, um, we found everything five out of five. Um, food was delicious on all accounts from... Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and desserts on top of that. Um, yeah, yeah, there's there was too much food, almost to a certain extent, at least for me. I found. Um, what else to talk yeah. about? Yeah, um, yeah, the equipment, um, everything worked according to plan. Goose down jackets, tents. Yeah, we uh, we came very unprepared, so we uh, we went and rented a jacket on the. Uh, the organization's recommendation that worked out fine. We got a jacket. I got some pants. Um, we also got sleeping bags, which were fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um. well, I guess one thing I would say is that I'd recommend people to go get a pillow, <laughs> like a small pillow to travel on, just a tiny one, because that would help a little bit. Because we just used our jackets to sleep on. But uh, and our guide, Percy, <laughs> um, the man, hooked us up with everything. Uh, we asked for so it was we had an incredible guide uh, had an awesome time um, everything from you know at the top of Salkantai Pass to you know showing us the uh, uh, the glacial lake um, shortcuts throughout the trip um, yeah and just kind of small uh, so to speak Easter eggs throughout the uh, throughout the trek um, so that was very much appreciated by both of us yeah I would second uh, that opinion wholeheartedly so, so thanks a lot um, yeah, we yeah. know plenty, plenty of fun too, and had an awesome time just kind of hanging out. Uh, Honestly, you know, before nothing, dinner and stuff. Nothing negative to say yeah. about a single a single element of the trip. Everything was thoroughly enjoyed, even from the fact that we got our our wine and peachy tickets. Um, yeah, from resourcefulness. From to resourcefulness. To time and punctuality, and just um, just perfect. So, so what, uh, what's the company you booked with? Quechua Ke- Ke- Expeditions. Expeditions. And would you really recommend the company or not? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hands yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right.